I thought this would be an interesting thing to share. This is tanned fish skin. I was recently going through some old VHS and there was some kind of culture camp by Nalato and they were doing this. They were tanning it. I didn't watch it all. I tried to edit a clip together right after I explain what this feels like. It feels like a, like a deer skin, but not as thick. It feels like... Maybe canvas, like a light canvas. The outside, yeah, it's nice and soft. And then the scale side, I don't know if they've descaled it or it just it looks like the scales are still there, but they can't be, right? They would have to scrape the scales away. I don't know. I've never, we don't tan fish skin around here. At least I don't think we do. I haven't seen any records of us doing that but i could be wrong so i'll stick this clip in here with a bunch of uh grandmas and elders that got together for some culture camp and explain how to do this so you all have a good evening if it's evening when you're watching this after the fish are smoked they are ready for eating for fish skin boots they are ready for scraping It is important in this step to scrape the skin as clean as possible, then dry the skin again to be ready for additional scraping, tanning, and finally sewing. Each teacher takes a turn in preparing their own fish. Uh -huh. Different fish skins, uh -huh. tanned beforehand, and we could even put this into a kit that yeah. we have on fish, mm -hmm. tanned beforehand, and show them the fish skin. Yeah. I think we're moving down. Oh no, when they put up those other tents. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll buy. Checking out. for the boots, for the... Huh? Carl, you want to try? Sure. Show me this. You don't have one of these, what could you use? Scraper, look. Yeah. Or, or you could use a dull uh, Indian knife. surprised me with that tanning process too is you know usually with tanning you have to put something Some on the tan of, yeah. you know and Pure. let it sit and, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's just like that scrape it and mm -hmm. work it mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so that's you know mm -hmm. something we need for our kids after scraping and softening the salmon skin, it is ready to be cut into four pieces, two different patterns. Then the sewing begins. And you guys could uh, make your uh, make little baby's boots what you'll bring home. When you drop this, you only go this way. No, anyway, anyway, you want. Thanks. I found out, I found out 
easier, easy way to make baby boots to last year. They have these leather punctures. Oh. So I used to tie them. Like this play now, Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom and the top. Eat goodbye, my sonny. Hey, 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 h
final steps involve sewing the leather sole and leather top to the salmon skin sides.